Well, plans are in the works to rebuild and vitalize, revitalize the Broad Street corridor of Mobile. All the city needs to do is get some federal grant money. Local 15's Kristen Jennings shows us exactly what this revamp would entail. Kristen? Greg, the project would completely change the look and infrastructure of Broad Street, taking away the highway feel it has now and making it more pedestrian friendly. If we get money through what's called the Tiger Grant, road construction would begin down at the GMO building downtown and would continue down Beauregard Street, which of course turns into Broad Street, and the transformation would continue all the way down Broad until you reach the I-10 junction. Transforming Broad Street isn't a new concept. The city started beautifying the street back in 2006 with green medians, flowers, and street lamps. But now city leaders are hoping to piggyback on that and continue revamping Broad, basically from I-165 all the way to I-10. Now that a federal transportation grant is available for projects that connect neighborhoods to jobs. Jobs like the ones currently found at our port and soon to be found at Brooklyn through Airbus. And it's very, very competitive. I mean, it's a long shot to get it. But if you don't apply, you'll never get it. And Broad Street is hugely important, you know, to the car to going into uh, Airbus. And if anyone understands the importance of improving Broad Street, it's Rose Pullman. She's the co-owner of Pullman's Bake Shop, a staple in Mobile, which sits at the corner of Broad and Virginia Street. We would love to see sidewalks, bike uh, routes, which I love it. We love to see more trees and that uh, median to go all the way in front of us to uh, Brooklyn Field. And that's exactly what Mayor Sandy Stimson has in mind. You're talking about a complete rebuild of it because we have uh, crumbling infrastructure and the stormwater under the street. You have the concrete that's, you know, in uh, failure in some places. It would uh, include, include a street that would be uh, bikeable as well as sidewalks. Pullman believes it would not only boost her business, but attract new businesses like restaurants and retail shops. City officials say the total cost for this project is about $17 million. If we're awarded the grant, it would pay for around $12 million of that. The city would front roughly $2 million, and the state would pay the rest. Greg.